going for hunting. Just starting out this morning. It's supposed to get 80 today. Yes, 80. So we got to hit it hard right away. Looking out for some deer. We have seen some, nothing big yet, but seen a lot of does, a few bucks um, hitting the roads. And uh, I'm excited. I'm pumped. This is my first time coming out here to do archery hunt. And uh, CJ has done so much homework that um, pressure's on me not to uh, not to fail. <laughs> but uh, no, stay with us. We are uh, we are hitting it hard, big bear outdoor style, and I'm excited as heck. Uh, kind of revitalized me. So um, we'll see what today brings. Do that out there because it doesn't sound like a deer. Guess what, everybody? Day three. My lights, my back light, disturbing all the deer in the country. Hey, we're getting ready for uh, a little hike, a few mile hike. Um, the wind is blowing, it's starting to cool down a little bit. I think we're down into the. I think we're down into the 40s right now, but. Uh, I think it's still at a high of 60, but the wind is still rolling. We're gonna take a hike, see if we can find us something. We kicked up some deer today, but nothing, no bucks yet. So we're gonna give it a shot. See what comes up. Okay. CJ's uh, underwear really stinks, so he's going to change that before we go out. Yeah, you're going to tell him that we need to find a new campsite? Are you ready to go? Hey everyone. This is, you know how CG always goes, big bear style? I don't know what style this is. Making some sloppy joes, right? Pre-made it, everything, it's in the cooler. We're gonna have some sloppy joes. I got the pan out, I got the Coleman stove out, we're getting everything out. Hang on, hang on. Does that look like sloppy joes to you? No, beans. How do beans and buns don't go? So what do we got to eat? One Lunchable. <laughs> One Lunchable. Oh yeah, we got cheese. Looking for a new hunting partner? Let me know. All you got to do is make sure you got Sloppy Joe's instead of beans. We're good to go. hunt um, we've got really hot conditions it's in the 75 right now and it's 6 30 in the evening still uh, yesterday was 80 degrees also these deer they really don't want to move and then to add on top of it between other pressure of other hunters and now it's been windy for the last two days and it's supposed to be even windier tomorrow these deer really just don't want to do anything so uh, a lot of times I like to relate my fishing and my hunting kind of to be similar 
And so the theory we're taking right now is we're kind of getting out of this area and we're going to start looking for some active deer, just like fishing. Even though you might mark some fish sometimes, it doesn't mean you're going to catch them. So even though there might be some deer in the area, we can't shoot them if we can't ever find them, right? So we're going to hit the road here this evening for the last couple hours and we're gonna try our best to locate maybe a deer for him to try to either stick last minute tonight or else something for us to, to start fresh on tomorrow. But that's gonna be our theory and our strategy right now. So stick with us. I guess we'll see if it works or if I'm uh, gonna lead him to go home empty handed again. So we'll see, but stick with us. Not giving up yet. Hey guys. You're not gonna believe it, you know. CJ and I see the see the video. We, we've been busting our butt. Finally, this afternoon, temperatures change, wind dies down just a little bit, and we come across um, our gun down the trail. Four bucks. Two of them are shooters. Two of them are really nice four by fours. And we're thinking, we're making a game plan, and everything. What do I do? Because of a earlier little jaunt we did, I left my bow back in the truck, which is two miles away. I don't even want to tell you my emotions that are going running right now. Not only that, we're watching them, just about 300 yards away from them, five bucks get up out of the out of little pocket. Four of them are shooters. No. Yeah. Four of them are shooters. Out of the nine total, six are shooters. They're all four by fours. There's wide ones, there's tall ones. So we just got back to the truck and got my bow, got set up, we're ready to go. And uh, we'll see what see what happens. But man, I'll tell you, my heart is just like <sighs> CJ got me to breathe a little bit, so that's better. So we're gonna um, between now and the two getting back to the area, thinking of a game plan, wind direction. We, we know that we got the nine bucks in the area. We know that there's at least three does, and uh, let's see what we go. We're just gonna go for it. All right, let's go. Okay, new morning. Uh, real recap of last night. So we, uh, CJ and I got back in there and um, we were in them, let's just say. And I put a sneak on one and only got about uh, 62 yards is what I got from them. And I wasn't going to pull back and I just let it, let it go away. Um, this morning we're going back in and here we spotted the uh, four, four bucks, the two nice ones with the two smaller ones. They got us kind of pinned. We're kind of deciding what to do. 
but um, we know that the other five are in there. But right now we got a bunch of sharpies around here dancing and everything, so it's kind of cool. But uh, we're gonna we're gonna make a game plan and somehow, some way, we are gonna sneak on something and uh, we'll see how it turns out. by the look on my face that uh, I don't have anything on the ground yet and uh, I don't know this is just one of those trips guys you know what you know some of you know what it's like we uh, came back to that spot where we saw those bucks and I'll try to be quick on it we came up on two of them and uh, um, they were across the valley so we took a big ass uh, hike all the way around come up and then the wind kind of changed a little bit so that wasn't going to that wasn't going to work coming up on top of them so then when we looked across the valley where we were at, here's seven of them that were all really nice looking deer. Some of them were the ones that we saw last last night. So we take a hike all the way back around and uh, I, we snuck up over the ridge and it just isn't my day, man. We were about 200 yards shy and did the sneaking up and they busted me and they all took off. And in between that, we had about, uh, I don't know, let's say eight or nine whitetail. <laughs> there was like four or five really nice whitetail bucks. One of them was just, I, I got to believe it was a five by five with big frame, big heavy frame and everything, you know. So we saw them on our first sneak. So we were coming back, we were coming back around and I was doing the sneak on these deer here. Busted them out of the bottom of the valley. And I'm like, I just can't win. So... We're going to regroup for a little bit, and uh, the one sevens that we busted out, they don't want to leave. They're only, they're only about six, seven hundred yards from where I busted them, and they all bedded down. But, of course, we're in a spot that's going to be really tough to get. But <sighs> That's bow hunting, right, guys? Gals? That's my style of bow hunting, I guess. <laughs> so... But we got about a few more hours left to today, and then we're done for a few days. But uh, we'll see what it brings. Okay. That was a quick four days. We, uh, we're heading out, we're done. It's, uh, I don't know, 4.30 or something like that on Monday. Um, we were, uh, it was tough as you probably saw it and everything. But I'll just tell you what happened here. We got in those seven bucks and uh, they threw us around and got within 70 yards or one time, 60, 60 yards, then 70 yards. And then I made another quick move Got within uh, 52 yards, and uh, like I said earlier, my pin busted at 50, and I had all seven within 10 yards of each other. I had to literally wait till they could separate to, to figure out, and uh, unfortunately, I, uh, I don't know, 
I mean, I took a gamble. I pulled my arrow back and uh, flung one and um, hit hit the one, the biggest one. It hit it right in the brisket, and uh, we watched him for quite a while. And we actually went back to the truck, and uh, he he's rocking and rolling. But uh, this has been one of the toughest hunts we've had. It's 60, 70, even 80 degrees, windy every single day. Uh, we finally got on some deer, but it was tough. But uh, we're coming back in two weeks, and we'll see what we get. But, hey, this is Big Bear Outdoors. We do it ourselves, and uh, I couldn't have had any more fun with my son, CJ. We didn't even fight this time. It was kind of nice, <laughs> even how tough it was. So, oh, we're done. All right, that's, that's about all I got. You got anything, CJ? No? Just want to say how great your dad is? Yeah? Is that what you say? Okay. All right. Hey, thanks for uh, watching Big Bear Outdoors. We appreciate you guys uh, tuning in and uh, being able to share our passion with you. And I uh, can't wait for you to share your passion with us. So um, like and share us on uh, Facebook, YouTube, all that kind of stuff. And we're going to keep, keep it going for you. Thanks. Talk to you soon.